Hello again my friends, now brace yourselves because it's time for another loot haul video. Loot, sweet, precious loot. Now this loot haul is my biggest one yet. Six challenge of elders packages, three true meaning of war bounties, five sterling treasure packages and some naughty little crucible packages. So sit back, relax your toes, relax your face, don't relax your bowels because you might shit yourself and without further ado let's tuck into this delicious loot feast. Now for some reason my Elgato decided to shit the bed and not record my live audio so I've had to record this audio instead. What you would have heard me saying is that while I was in LA for E3 Bungie introduced three new chroma colours green, orange and magenta which is just a posh word for pink and I was hoping to get these colours to see what they look like on certain pieces of armour and luckily I managed to bag myself all three of the new colors. This is green. As you can see, it's very green. Green. This is orange, which oddly enough is kind of orangey. And here's another interesting fact. It's orange. And this is the fabulous magenta, but let's be honest, it's pink, alright? It's pink. Get over it. It's pink. And real men don't shy away from wearing pink. Now let's move the fuck on. Right then, we're now going to open my Hunter's Challenge of the Elders packages. First up, we have the Weapons package. So let's acquire this little beauty. We've got the Techian Rage. That's a fusion rifle, I believe. We'll have a look at the rolls, the perks, and all that good shit in just a moment. And now we're going to look at the armor package. A Booyakasha. We've got Warden's Sights. That's actually the first time I've got that. So let's have a look and see what the perks and rolls are on these little beauties. So it dropped to 334 lights. Ooh, we can test out the new chroma this time as well. Let's have a little look. Green. It looks like vomit, but that's surely a good thing. What have we got? We've got reflex. We've got red dot. We've got hip fire. Lightweight. We've got rifled barrel. We've got feather mag. And we've got range finder. Now, if I'm completely honest, I haven't got a single fucking clue what perks are good for fusion rifles. I never use fusion rifles. Or maybe I should get back into them. Guys, any fusion rifle experts out there, tell me, are these good perks? If they are, should I keep it? Should I dismantle it? What the fuck is going on? Because I'm a fusion rifle noob. Now, let's have a little look at this. We've got the Warden Sight Helmet. Dropped at 334. Let's equip it just to see what it looks like. It looks fucking terrifying. Now, let's see uh, the perks on this. We have increased intellect. We've got strength. We've got inverse shadow. We've got second thoughts. And we've got invigoration. Look at it. It's an arachnid bastard. Let's move on. So then, I'm now going to look at my first true meaning of war bounty. This actually has a chance of dropping a 335 light level exotic. So let's see what I get. A boom. We have the Jade Rabbit. It did drop an exotic. That's pretty fucking cool. So while I'm actually here, let's also see what my crucible package holds. I've also got a crucible package. Let's open this up. A boom. We've got Spectre Aspirate Grips. Let's have a look at all of that shit right now. Did this drop at 335? It did. So there you go. I got a 335 Jade Rabbit from the True Meaning of War Bounty. Not too shabby at all. Let's see what this dropped at. 330. Not bad. Now let's... Do this all over again. Right then, I'm now going to open my Titans Challenge of the Elders packages, starting with the weapons package. Boom. We've got Techie and Rage again. Can that weapon please go fuck itself? I don't want another one. Next up, we have the armor package. Boom. We have Witness Gauntlet. So let's have a look at this other fucking Techie and Rage, you bastard. It dropped to 335 this time. Blue Chroma. Let's have a little look at that. No, we can't because I don't have any Blue Chroma equipped. What a cunt I am. Improved handling. Improved handling. Did I just repeat myself yes we've got last result we've got enhanced battery hand laid stock feather mag we've got icarus like i said i haven't got a fucking clue when it comes to fusion rifles so i'll be buggered if i know what this if this is any good or not um fuck i didn't want another techie in rage god's sake what did this drop at let's have a look 335 witness gauntlets brilliant at least it dropped to 335 now what you're probably thinking to yourself is more console your titan looks like a fucking idiot and do you know what you're completely right. Now let's move on. So then, it's now time to open my second true meaning of War Crucible Bounty. Like you saw last time, it can drop up to a 335 exotic. Let's see if I get lucky this time. A boom. We got approximately fuck all. Now, that's pretty disappointing, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to now go to um, Lord Shacks and see what my Crucible package is. Let's see if I can get fuck all twice in a row. That'll be fun. Let's do this. Boom, we've got Hawksaw. Okay, this has me excited. I'll be honest with you, this is the first thing that's actually excited me in this loot 
opening video. Hawksaw is actually my favorite primary weapon in, in, in Crucible at the moment. So let's see what it dropped at. I'm very happy with this. So we've got a 330 um, light level Hawksaw. So let's have a look. We've got the projection sight, improved weapon handling. We've got the lightweight red dot sights, improved weapon handling. And we've got threat evaluation. Highlights enemies, guardians who have charged supers. Highlights enemy guardians who have charged supers and powerful minions of darkness. Okay, that's quite interesting. We've got high caliber rounds, which gives the Hawksaw a bit more impact. I like that. What else have we got? Appended magazine, increased magazine size, slower reload. We've got head seeker body shots with this weapon, increased precision damage for a short time. We have lightweight when held this uh, grants to character agility and we've got hand laid stock which increases the stability but reduces the range now is this going to be better than the one that's already sold in the tower i'm not sure but i'm definitely going to give it a go because like i said hawksaw is a bit of a beast now check out actually the stability on this is fucking insane so this could be potentially really good but the range has gone down dramatically as a result of that so I'm going to have to see whether that makes this a, a viable PvP weapon and overtakes the one that's being used in the... Uh, that's been sold in the tower. But yeah, it's going to be fun finding out. Let's move the fuck on. And finally, my Warlock's Challenge of the Elders packages. Let's do this. So we've got our weapons package first. We've got Final Duty. At least we didn't get that fucking fusion rifle again. And we have an armor package. Boom, we have Keeper's Cloak. And, uh, and hello, we've got a Judgment's Tribute package too. Let's get that out of the way. We've got Soul Stealer's Claw. Let's have a look at all of those right this second. So... We've got Final Duty, which dropped at 335. It's a pulse rifle. Let's see what this is. We've got the uh, slightly improved optics, improved handling, slightly improved optics, improved handling again. We've got Exhumed. This weapon gains improved range and handling for a short time after revival. We've got Hand Loaded. We have Reinforced Barrel. And we have Injection Mold. And finally, Third Eye. I really like Third Eye, actually. I have to admit, that's something that's for me, is a massive bonus perk on any weapon. So... I'm kind of liking the look of this, I'll be honest with you. Uh, again, I'm going to have to test this out to see how it compares to the almighty Hawksaw. But yeah, not too shabby. I'll give that a whirl in the Crucible. What else did we get? We got um, Soul Stealer's Claw, an auto rifle. Um, let's have a look at the perks. We've got Small Ball. We have Oiled Frame. We have Snapshot. And we have Rodeo and... Icarus. So this is one of those auto rifles with a tiny amount of impact and a huge rate of fire. Not a huge fan of those. Again, we'll have to see how this works in the Crucible. What else did I get? I got a 335 Keeper's Cloak. Nice. I'm really glad that dropped to 335. So, not too bad, I guess. Let's move on. And now for my final true meaning of War Bounty. Let's see what I get this time around. Boom! We've got NL Shadow 701X. Before we look at that, let's have a look at my last Crucible package of this loot opening video. So, boom, let's see what we get. We've got Panta Ray. Now, I'm getting so many fusion rifles, it's like ridiculous. I'm not a fusion rifle fan, so not hugely happy with the fusion rifle haul, I've got to say. We've got last resort, quick draw, skip rounds, old frame, replenish, and I'll repeat what I said last time. I have no fucking idea if that's any good or not. Let me know in the comment section below what else have we got here. We've got a scout rifle, so let's see what we've got here. We've got focus lens. We've got Quick Draw, we have Exhumed, we've got Explosive Rounds, Injection Mold, Oil Frame, and Gorilla Fighter. Gorilla Fighter is probably the worst fucking perk in the entire game, and just because this has got Gorilla Fighter, I'm going to fucking dismantle it on the site. And I urge anyone to do the same. If it's got Gorilla Fighter, fuck it over. I don't give a shit. If all the other perks are good, Gorilla Fighter can go and fuck itself. Now, that brings us to the end of the video. I've opened up every single package. And um, stick around because I want to say thank you for 600,000 subscribers. It's insane. Now I want to say thank you, you beautiful bastards. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that loot haul. Now guys, this channel has just passed 600,000 subscribers. Thank Thank you so much. That's insane. Now, I remember when I hit 50,000 subscribers a couple of years ago, and I was getting around 10,000 views per video, and even back then I was like, damn, I've made it. 50,000 people click that subscribe button, and each video is getting 10,000 views. This is insane. 
So you can imagine when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I was pretty mind blown. I was like, fuck, this, this shit's blowing up. This is crazy. Wow. And when you hit 100,000 subscribers, YouTube sends you a silver play button. So even YouTube and Google kind of acknowledge the fact that, yo, you've hit a milestone. That's pretty cool. They give you a letter and they say, well done. That's pretty special. So it kind of validates your channel, makes you feel cool. And you're like, yeah, you're 100,000 subscribers. That's brilliant. So you, again, you can imagine how fucking amazing it felt when I hit half a million subscribers. That was around uh, when the Taken King launched and there was a huge spike in subs and views on this channel. So half a million uh, subscribers is a really mind-blowing la landmark, actually. It actually blew me away more than the 100,000 because it was like, whoa, that's half a million people. So, you know, here we are a year later, roughly, and I've got 600,000 subscribers and it's it's amazing, like, every time someone subscribes, it truly is kind of like a minor miracle, I'm just like, wow, someone's taking the time out of their day to subscribe, they want to check out the content, and they want to stick around, so, thank you, I guess, to every single person that subscribed to this channel, it's, it's really mind-blowing, and you hear it so often, people saying, YouTubers saying, thank you so much, I couldn't have done it without you, but it's true, YouTube channels are nothing without the people that subscribe to them, they really are, and because of you guys, I've literally been given some life-changing, insane opportunities. Being flown out to Bungie, um, actually in, to get to see Bungie Studio, given a tour of Bungie Studio, get to play in their laboratory. Not many people have been in their laboratory. That's kind of like a play, you kind of get to play their games early and stuff and record it. So I've, I've been given the opportunity to do that. I've been flown out to E3 three times in a row. I've been given, so, I'm, and I'm not just saying this shit to boast and boost my own ego and just, you know, say, oh, look how great I am. The, all these, it, like, all these things have come about because of you, because of you, because of your passion for this channel. Literally, none of this would have happened without you. Um, so, you know, thank you so much. L you know, if you continue to support my channel, you continue to share my content, like it, um, subscribe, all that good stuff. You give me the opportunity to carry on doing what I love and to have all these amazing opportunities. And I will try my best, as always, to keep you informed and entertained. Now, I know that some of my humour isn't to the taste of a few of you guys. And that's that's cool as well. You know, I can. that's just something I've got to deal with. But it's just like, thank you so much. I'm getting all rambly now because I haven't scripted this part of the video. So basically what I want to say is, it, to summarise... Thank you so much for 600,000 subscribers. I do not take that number lightly, and I do not take your passion and your enthusiasm for my content lightly. I take it very, very seriously, and I may come across as a bit of a fucking idiot in my videos, but trust me, deep down in my heart, I take it really seriously, and I want to do my best for you guys, and I want to produce daily content, and I, I just want to keep you informed and entertained. Anyway... Thank you. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Again, I know I did this kind of similar thing in a previous video, but now we've hit 600,000 subscribers. It's just insane. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart so much. It means so much to me. So, okay, that's... That's just what I wanted to say. Thank you so much, and I'm sorry for the ramble. Now, guys, if you're still here and you want more Destiny content, click this image. I talk about three of the new armor sets coming with Rise of Iron. You'll also find a link to this video in the description box below. And again, thank you so much for just being here. Thank you. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for daily Destiny content. And thanks for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, a dee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.